going on? What was the explosion? <coughs> Sorry, this potion is trickier than I thought. I have never mixed a potion before. <coughs> I don't get it though. I thought <coughs> I followed everything. Uh, give me that. What's the recipe? Whoa, Rylan. You're experienced in potion making? Of course I'm not. How hard can this be? It's just... <laughs> Do you still think it's that simple? Wow, look at that! You know, I'd really love to have you guys make yourself at home, but I'm not too sure if I'm okay with you guys causing explosions in the house. Good morning, Max and Micah. Sorry about that. Luckily, nothing was caught on fire, but, uh, the smoke needs to be cleared out a bit. <sighs> you smell like you've been smoke-bombed. This is not acceptable. Come here with me. Hey, that's my room. Well, we can't go into Lastic's room. You boys wait out here. What's the deal with her? She's just in a good mood. Tonight's the start of the fall festival in town, and Micah loves any sort of parties. Wait, wait! No! I don't want to take this off! Yes, yes you do! Try this one! It'll go with your eyes! A festival. Isn't that the last thing we should worry about? <laughs> I just want to get that Neil guy and get out of this stupid city already. Watch it. This is my home. Sure, sure. How dare I speak of Cora like that in front of the young master? This is too tight. I can't breathe. Come on, it's not that bad. Besides, this will make your shape flattering. Uh, should we be worried about them? I was just thinking the same thing. They should be all right. Look, Wolf Boy, I know you want to return to your family, and this whole festival may look like an obstacle for you but I think it'll work in our favor. I am listening. Fall Festival is one of the biggest events in Korra. It's a celebration period and time of Thanksgiving for a good year's work. It's hard to find those not celebrating during the festival. Do you know what that means? Don't tell me you're saying the whole city will be celebrating, therefore we need to do the same. <sighs> no, the whole city will be celebrating and so will most of the guards. People will be busy with festivals, and the traffic of people will help screen those leaving the city. <laughs> Boys, you better be ready for this. <clears throat> Gentlemen, I present you Lady Lastic. But Micah, I can't walk in these. These are way too high, and the dress is way too long, <sighs> and... Just come show your cute little face already. I'm trying. What? What have you done to Orange Head, you chatterbird? A ch chatterbird? How dare you call the Lady of Korra a chatterbird? Would you have me refer to you as a yowling cat instead? A uh, a ye yowling cat? There you go again. Micah was so sure that dress would be the one for you. It's so weird for me though. I've never really worn a dress like this before, and these heels, they're kind of hard to walk in. What are you doing? <laughs> Trying to see if the air feels different in this elevation? <laughs> so does it? No, not really. But I can see you and the others a bit closer now. Do I look okay? You... You look pretty. I mean, did I mean pretty? I mean, what I meant to say is beautiful. Yes, I. I mean, Micah. Thank you. No, ah! ah! Rylan, are you okay? Just get off of me. Your sister's still here. You might not trust her, but I do. 
Micah is not someone that repeat things to others. Easy for you to say. She's your sister. And you have one too, so you'd understand. Does she even know what this is about? Nope. Don't know. Don't care about not knowing. I trust my brother and that's what matters. Hey, why are we being so quiet? Plastic needs to concentrate on her posh. I did I, I think. Well, this one didn't explode at least. Hey, I knew you could. Great job, little missy. Great! Can we head to the market now? The festival must have started already. Sure, Micah, but we... Plastic, Ryland, and I need to leave in the middle of it. But why? You just got back! It was a temporary thing anyway. If Blades Academy didn't announce the temporary break, I'd still be away. <sighs> okay. In that case, I'll say bye now. I don't want to see you off crying at the festival. I'm going to hang out with my friends. Sure. Take care of Cora until Father comes back, okay? Okay. It was nice to meet you, Lastic. Please take care of my brother for me. He is all tough, handsome, tall, strong, everything awesome and all. But inside, he's a giant softy. <laughs> I will. It was nice to meet you, too. And you! Don't get between my brother and Lastic. Got it? Didn't you say you have to meet your friends? Should we get going to then? Where? To the festival? I guess we could if you wanted to stop by for a short time, but I meant to kneel. Mm, checking out the festival would be nice, but I think it'd be better if we just go get Neil. What a surprise. We actually agree on a thing all together. <laughs> I can't wait to be done with this whole situation. Um, you boys wait here. I'm just going to go change into my clothes. I can't really walk in these heels well. Bye. Sure. Now what? Don't tell me you guys didn't think about the guards here. To be completely honest, I didn't. Great. Just great. Stop being negative. It's not going to help us. Now, we just have to figure this one out. I agree. We've got three brains here. I have an idea. How about I shapeshift and bite them into pieces? I won't allow that. They're royal guards, just fulfilling their duty. Besides, I thought you can't control when you shapeshift. How... how did you know? Observation? Anyway, I agree with Max. I don't want anyone hurt in the process. Who? Who's there? Shh, keep quiet. A guard's coming. What is going on? What did you do this time, Orange Head? I... I did it again. I... Froze time. You could do that? I did it by accident once before. I don't know how it happened then, and now... How are we not frozen? That doesn't make sense. Who cares if it doesn't make any sense? Do you two not realize this is our chance? You're right. Let's go get Neil. Neil, we came to get you. The door... Ugh! The key! We didn't get the key! Looking for this? I grabbed it from the guard. Wait, but if I break out now... Don't worry, Neil. We have a solution. Max, the dummy. And Neil, please take this potion. A dummy and a potion? Are you guys going to explain the plan? We're going to disguise this dummy as you to fake your death. And this potion will temporarily change your appearance so you can leave Korra without being noticed. See? I knew you guys would be able to figure something out. Let's give this potion a go. It feels weird. Neil, you... You... <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, wow. Orange head. If this was done on purpose, this is awesome. Probably the first time I like what you've done. What are you guys laughing at? Huh? My voice? Slim fingers? Long hair? What are these? You? You are a girl. At least the potion worked. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, no. no. Please don't kill me. The good news is nobody will suspect it too. <laughs> Besides, you don't look too bad as a girl, bro. The potion said it's temporary. But yes, I do agree with Max. You look quite cute. Ha ha. Very funny, guys. We don't have all night. Let's get going. You're right. I've got horses prepared just outside the entrance of Cora. There they are! Nice job, Max! I only see three, though. I couldn't get more than that without looking suspicious. That's okay. Hmm. If that's the case, is it okay if I ride with you? My feet are sore from walking in heels, to be honest. Sure. I was going to ask if you would anyway. What's wrong? Do you not know how to ride a horse? Uh, of course I do. <laughs> We did it! We did it! Oh my gosh, we did it! Where should we go now? To my village, of course. It's my home, Neil's home, and Ryland's home. And Max, we'd love you to visit. Speak for yourself. I wouldn't want some young master of a big city to come and judge our village. I think he's just trying to admit it. Hey, Ryland, are you having some trouble with your horse? No, I am fine. I can ride with you if you want. I said I'm fine. Going to our village is a good idea. There are some things I'd like to check, but afterwards there's a place we need to go. To our village! Let's go! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Max, you're definitely going to love our village. First of all, the bakery that I used to work at, Mr. Bill, he is such a... Ugh, can someone stop her already? Stop stuffing your face with sweets already! Do you know who has to deal with your sugar highs? Me! Do you know who has to deal with your whines when your stomach gets upset? Uh, me. Quit pigging out! My stomach is just fine! Besides, I saw you lurking beside the accessory booths! You're enjoying this festival as much as I am! Where else would you be able to see such a large selection of accessories? Collecting things and eating is different. You're right! Eating sweets is so much more convenient! At least I don't have to carry around accessories everywhere! Lucien, please stop her. I don't sense her anymore. Who? Do you mean the girl you saw yesterday? Yes, now. She's no longer in Korra. I think it's time we go pay a visit to our Bloodstone. Lucian, it's all yours. What did you get? Any useful magic in this one? How disgusting. This one only contains some low-level magic. Ugh, where's that time control magic? We've been through so many bloodstones already. We'll look for more. Korra's a big city, so they have to have more than just one. They do have more, but now, there's no rush. Huh? But... I have the feeling we'll see that other source again if we stay in Korra. We can take our time with the other ones, and take their magic, one at a time. You're taking quite an interest in this girl, Lucian. Well, let's see if she's worth it. 